Welcome to another Steamy Engine module demonstration. Uh, right now I'm going to show Tide Island. Uh, this is an educational adventure game uh, that was created for 7th and 8th grade middle school students and it is designed to teach the moon phases as well as how the tides affect your environment. Uh, so when we begin the game here, it begins with an action hero who gets deserted on a desert island and he needs to use the resources available to him to try to get off of the island. And uh, as the game progresses you get some pop-up boxes that notify you of what's going on and uh, it's also there's also sound effects that I have canceled out so I can narrate over it right now but one of the first things you notice in this world is you are on a little island and uh, Right now it looks like it's probably high tide as the waves wash over the island. And what you need to try to do is get off of the island. And so you can see that there's some driftwood here. And when I go and pick that up, our little wood meter in the lower left corner pops up. And when that happens, we've picked up all the driftwood on the island, uh, but as the game narrates, we notice that there's more driftwood floating in the ocean. And so what happens is we can use the tides to change the direction that the driftwood floats. So when I, we can see here, here's the driftwood floating right there. When I bring up our little tide meter and I change it to a lower tide, the direction that the wood floats actually changes. And as that changes, uh, the driftwood comes towards me and so I can walk over and go pick it up. There we go. There, pick that up. And you can see that my wood meter filled up. Now, uh, we have to get one more piece of driftwood. And we can see that it's floating over here towards, towards the island. But we're going to change the tides and then cause it to drift in the other direction towards us. So you can see here now it's floating floating towards us. And once we pick up the log, we'll have enough to create a boat or a raft that will help us get to the other island. There we go, I picked up that piece of wood. And now you can see that the wood meter has enabled us to build a boat. So if I click build boat, there's our little raft that we real quickly built. And we can walk over and pick that up. There. Now, one thing that we'll also notice is that right now, uh, when we first build the boat, uh, it's beached. And what we need to do is try to get it off of the island. And so to do that, we're going to want to have it on high tide. And when, when it's at the highest tide, the waves wash up just high enough that when the full wave comes, we'll be able to back the boat off the island. There we go. And so again, this is the kind of uh, critical thinking and problem solving that this sort of educational game uh, provides to students, which is different than a lot of drill and kill worksheets. And we've used these modules in the classrooms of 7th and 8th grade students and uh, they're usual, they're accompanied by pre and post tests uh, and we actually have these uh, published results available on the STEAM website. And so you can see here I'm approaching the second island and there we go, bumped up on that There, and I can walk off the island, or off the boat, onto the new island. There we go. You have stumbled across a new island on your journey home. A cave lies up ahead. Perhaps you should go through it to find out what is on. Side. 
that was just an example of uh, some of the narration that happens in the, in the uh, game. The majority of it is uh, turned off for this demonstration because I'm doing all the talking. Uh, but during the game, uh, it helps pro uh, progress students th through the game. Uh, now we've gone to the top of the mountain. And uh, here we, ha we meet the evil monkey of doom. And what the evil monkey of doom wants us to do is align these two eight puzzles here. And we need to make the eight puzzle on the left align to the eight puzzle on the right. In the eight puzzle on the right here, you can see shows all of the moon phases in order in a clockwise fashion. So what we need to do is come over to the unordered eight puzzle and order it. So we need to put all of the moon phases in order that they occur. And you can see as we align each one, all of the pieces of the bridge come into place. And I'm going to put the last one in place here. And as soon as I've done that, uh, the two eight puzzles now align. And uh, we now have this bridge. But in order to cross the bridge, we first have to click on the uh, correct moon phases of uh, of uh, correct moon phases. And so for this I'll re-enable the sound and uh, let you see what happens as we play through this. Correct. Waxing crescent. Correct. And so at this point, we have navigated across the bridge, and we've made it to the second part of the second island. Uh, and then this is where our demonstration right here of Tide Island is going to finish. Uh, thanks for watching.